In this video, I'm going to share with you my very first conscious experience through psilocybin, the substance found in magic mushrooms, and how it helped with my depression. My name is Alice. I'm part of a whole new high. Welcome to our channel. And let me just explain about this very first experience. Well, I have to add there that I had like a non-conscious psilocybin experience before, which was with psilocybin truffles a few years before that. And um, I didn't know anything about the healing potential of psilocybin and I, had, I was just taking it with friends. I saw some funny visions, some patterns moving on the floor. I lost my sense of orientation and found that very funny. Um, but it was not healing at all. It was just a fun experience with a few friends. But then, um, yeah, I only wanted to try it once. I had the experience. I was not very pro substance use so i said like i'm never going to do this again until a friend of mine started using psilocybin and other substances very consciously and he told me about all the insights he received and uh, what the difference is when you use it with intention i was very young back then um, i was still very suspicious and i didn't know if i should try it or not but then i was like hmm if I'm that judgmental about it, I should at least try it once. And I had a depression at the time. And back then, like now, many people talk about how psilocybin and depression, like how psilocybin can help with depression. But back then, I had no information about that. I just tried the psilocybin um, to yeah look at myself. My intention was to look at myself, to experience myself, to experience the world around me in a conscious way. And um, we went into a forest to do it and we sat down, he gave me the mushrooms and he said, look around you, one last time you will never see the forest the same way again. And he was right. <laughs> so I took the mushrooms, it was around two grams and then, yeah, very like half an hour, 45 minutes later, things around me started to change. It felt like the, the earth was breathing, the, the trees were moving. I could hear how the trees were talking to each other, like they were really making noises. And these noises, I can hear them now too, when I'm not on psilocybin, but I had never even heard them before when I was in the forest. And I could hear them so loudly. And I was looking around me and I really felt like I was part of the forest. I was part of everything. But then I saw this one tree that was a very small tree and it was very unhealthy looking and it was a bit further away. So I just jumped up and I ran towards it, even fell down on the floor on my way there. <laughs> found that very funny in that moment. But then I went, once I arrived at close to the tree and I looked at the tree, I just realized how sad and lonely this tree looked and it was surrounded by other trees but it was so alone and in that moment it was actually it was not the tree the tree wasn't feeling alone it was me seeing myself the perception i had of myself in that tree that's as i said i didn't go into the um, experience thinking about my depression but in that moment i knew this was my depression this tree represented my depression it was me standing there feeling alone being surrounded by a community but not letting anybody close and i came towards the tree i hugged the tree i even kissed the tree i looked at the tree i saw all the insects that were on the tree and i realized that the tree wasn't alone and that was the very first time that i realized for myself that i wasn't alone either and I started speaking to myself and like when I, while I was hugging the tree, I was, it was like hugging myself. And it was a very profound experience um, that really shifted me out of the depression. Not completely, but it, it was a major shift um, in, in, in improvement, in, in healing. I spent the rest of that afternoon just running around like a child in the forest and I was free, I was happy, I was joyful 
and I could just really see like how this how this, this burden that I was carrying around with me, this burden of conditions, of beliefs that I had taken on on the way and on, on my journey in my life and how all of that wasn't true and that I could just let it go, that I could leave it behind. Of course, it's not that easy now when you go back into the normal reality, it's not that easy to let it go. Um, there's, there comes a lot of integration work, work after. But at least I had the vision in that moment, like I knew it was possible to let it go. And that was very, um, that was a major revelation because before I felt really stuck and depression is a lot about feeling stuck and having no hope and like not knowing that there is a way and I saw the way and yeah so this was a major experience for me and it really changed my life and it also changed the way I thought about substances and yes these substances can be um, dangerous if used in the wrong set and setting if used consciously they have a lot of healing potential like incredible healing potential and I don't know where I would be today without this experience and then the experience that followed after because I continued on that journey of um, psychedelic healing um, yeah so the rest of the day of that first experience um, was really funny we walked back home through the forest and we went through different parts of the world of the forest and we just it was just amazing and mind-blowing how I perceived the forest it, in a way I had never perceived it before and then arriving home we just turned on the music and the music sounded so different than it usually sounded I, I could feel how the music was taking me on the journey um, yeah that's how the day ended it was a very good first conscious experience and um, yeah as I said I wouldn't know where I would be without it today